Hey y'all, it's Zaria. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated foundation routine. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm moisturizing with my Cerive. Um, it's especially important to have sunscreen built into your moisturizer right now. So I'm just rubbing that in. Then I'm taking my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm using several more pumps than usual. I think I did about two and a half to three. And the reason I did this is because of having to wear a mask right now. Um, Y'all know probably that the transfer of makeup to the mask is really annoying. So I'm adding extra primer to make sure everything sticks. I'm making sure to get under my eyes real good for the under eye concealer. So um, if you're having trouble with makeup transferring to your mask i highly recommend getting a very good primer that helps everything stick to your face and um milk hydro grip is definitely a consistent and favorite of mine and i highly recommend it So now that that's all rubbed in, I'm going to be taking my NARS foundation. Again, I'm using a bit more than usual. I think that's two, two and a half pumps um, because I just want to make sure I get a really perfect coverage for pictures since this is more of a picture perfect makeup routine. So I'm just making sure to cover every spot on my face with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm taking my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer and the application is really important. You can see I'm using like a smear kind of method. I'm not dotting, I'm smearing. And that hap like when you do that, when it dries down, it looks more flawless than when you do dots. So after I put that on, I smear it and then I kind of let it sit for a second so it can dry down. And then you'll see when I um, blend it out with the Beauty Blender, it looks more flawless and blends better than it would if you would dot it. So now I'm going in with my Maybelline Under Eye Concealer. And y'all, I took way too much of this. You're about to see. Yeah, that's the look when you know you took a little too much. Um... I make it work though, uh, just blending it all out. Um, so now I'm going in with the same damp beauty blender and yeah, just, just working it all out. Um, that is a bit too much. Um, I wound the thing up a little too much and that was on me. So, um, but I just kept blending and kept blending until it looked fine. So it's 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 gonna end up fine, you'll see. So now that I've gotten the under eye concealer blended in, I'm gonna go and blend the regular concealer. As you can see, when you smear it, it dries down in that same shape. So it looks better than if you were to dot it. So yeah, just gently blotting that in. You don't wanna overdo it. And now I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade Honey to set the concealer under my eyes. And y'all know how I like to do it. I put more powder and I just let it sit. And after it sits for a while, then I'll go back and wipe it off.
So now I'm grabbing my contour palette. It's the Black Radiance Cream Contour and my contour brush from Real Techniques. And I'm taking some of the darkest shade and drawing in my cheeks. You know, you suck in with your lips and I try to go in like an upward motion from the point where my cheek sucks in and around the top of my head up to my temple. Just kind of lightly dabbing because it's cream, it's not too heavy. Um, I don't like much contour. Um, so just kind of being light with it and just dabbing it in. And I think the key for contour for me is to keep on moving. Um, not dabbing too much in the same area so it doesn't get too heavy handed in one place. So my tip is to keep on moving with it until you build up to a contour you like. So next I'm going in with my Milani liquid blush. I was going to apply it straight to my face and then I was scared about overdoing it. So then I put it on my finger as you can see. And I just do a couple dabs above where I did the contour but below my powder for my under eye concealer. And I go in an upward motion blending up. So it kind of lifts my face. Now I'm going back to the translucent powder and brushing it away with the Real Techniques buffer or buffing brush, I can't remember. Now I'm taking my eyebrow pencil. This is kind of new for me. Usually I just keep my eyebrows well done and they are, but I just wanted to darken them up a little bit for the photos. I'm sorry I'm kind of like out of frame. It's because I'm really up close to my, uh, to the mirror over my counter. But as you can see, I'm just kind of taking my natural shape and following it. I will put the name of the eyebrow brush in the description I think it's a Maybelline and it has like an angled pencil so it makes it really easy to kind of mimic the shape and lines of an eyebrow and then it has like you know a little spoolie brush on the end so you can brush it out and my tip again would be to keep moving um, don't try to put too much in one spot um, use light strokes and keep brushing in between to make sure it's not getting too heavy 
um, as you can see, light strokes upward, kind of mimicking the shape and um, just following my brow, kind of just following it in this natural direction. Um, yeah, I don't set with concealer under it. I just kind of pencil it in and leave it as is. Now I'm setting with the Anastasia Doing Setting Spray. And this is a disclaimer. I prefer to use Dewy Setting Spray. However, I've seen a lot of people say that Dewy is not the best setting spray if you want to avoid makeup transfer to your mask. I personally prefer Dewy Setting Spray, but if you want to avoid makeup getting on your mask then it's probably better to go with a matte setting spray so just a little heads up i still prefer dewy but matte would probably set everything more in place and now i'm gonna put on my eyelashes off camera i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did like and subscribe and i will catch y'all in my next one